guys, I'm Darby and this is my cousin. Hi, I'm Taylor. And we're doing a video kind of about our favorite products and kind of like our favorite everyday products. So I'll start and first we're gonna talk about like foundation kind of things. And my first one is Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. It looks like this, you can get it at Walmart and Target. Um, I like it because it has really good coverage and the colors that I've used, I've had really good luck with getting perfect matches to my skin tone. Um, and I like it, and it's one of the more high-end liquid makeups, but I really do like it a lot. Okay, and the foundation I'm currently using is called Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil Free Makeup. It's not my favorite because when you wear it throughout the day, it does start to feel oily on your skin, even though it does say oil free. But my favorite is Clinique. Um, acne solutions foundation okay and so then my favorite concealer is um, the coastal sense concealer and this is one of the camel quads and this is just the medium one and I really like this color right here right now cuz it just really matches my skin tone really well and these are really thick and creamy and they match perfectly my favorite concealer is from the Neutrogena skin clearing line it's just like a little bucket full of it and then in the bottom <laughs> it's got translucent powder I don't really use the translucent powder but I use the the thicker part of the inside of it and it matches my skin tone pretty well it's a little bit lighter but it works okay and then I actually have another one that I kind of talk about and it's the erase paste for benefit this is just the small little tub and it looks like this you can't really tell but it has like a pink undertone and what I like about this is it's really good for like under eye um, dark circles so I really do like this one a lot and so then we'll do powders and my favorite powder is a covergirl aqua smoothers powder and this is one of the pressed powder ones and this is what mine looks like I've already used one of these and I really like it because it's really light coverage and it sets your makeup all day long and I really, really like it. And for like six bucks, you can't go wrong. My favorite powder foundation is the Bare Minerals Medium Skin Tone. It matches my skin tone perfectly. It stays on all day long, it's light, and it doesn't make you break out. And it says it has 15 SPF sunscreen in it which helped out this summer with life -care. and then I have one other powder <laughs> and it's the bare minerals hydrating mineral veil it's the one in like the white bucket thing and what I like about this is it's really good for like setting my MAC um, like, uh, cream blush because that stuff's really sticky and this just goes on really nicely so I like setting it with that and moving on to like face like bronzers and blushes my favorite bronzer right now is the pink Victoria's Secret um, bronzing all over body powder I don't know if you can still get this but I love it so much it just gives me a really nice um, color especially when I get a little bit lighter um, I really like this a lot and it's it was $15 for this but um, if you find something like this from pink pink stuff is usually two for $22 so good deal it also smells really good yeah it smells like the um the, the perfume that goes with this the, it's like pretty and pure or something it smells so good <laughs> my blush i'm using right now is called it's from the hard candy line it's just um it's called living doll it's got light pink and then like a lighter skin tone color in it. I love it. I use it in the winter mostly. It's really pretty. It's just lighter on your skin and it's kind of shimmery so I like it. And then a blush I've been liking right now is actually the MAC Lady Blush Cream Blush and for a while I absolutely hated this um, because it's really really sticky. I don't like the consistency on this at all. I wish it was a little bit creamier but I guess it kind of helps it stick throughout the day but the color, you cannot go wrong with the color, so I really like this, and it's really matte and nice. And then um, a highlight that we both use 
is the um, Too Faced Pink Leopard Bronzer, which is this really cute packaging. I love the like packaging and then the color it is. And then it just gives like a really nice glow to your face and um, yeah. You can use it as a blush if you want. I don't recommend it as like a bronzer because it has like pink in it and pink as a bronzer is kind of weird. But yeah, we both have been liking this. Hold on. Okay, so a face primer that I really, really like is the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Magic Perfecting Base. Um, I've used a ton of it. I love it so much. It just is, it like really mattifies your face and it helps your makeup stay all day long. And it's way less expensive than most primers and it's um, the same quality. So now, moving on to eye stuff. Um, the first thing are primers. I have the Stay Don't Stray here. You just put a little bit, it's a liquid. <laughs> it's kind of skin color. <laughs> Um, you put it on, blend it on, it just helps your eyeshadow stay and like you don't get those annoying creases and I recommend it. And it's also, people like using it as a concealer too, so not just like um, an eye base, but if you have really veiny eyelids, it's a really good one because it's really thick. So then, um... Next, I love the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the Sin color. It makes a really good base, and I personally think it's really similar to Bear Study by MAC um, Pink Pot. Um, but it's like a two-in-one because you can use this just as like a base for your eyeshadow to help kind of your eyeshadow to kind of stick out, excuse me, and be brighter. Or you can use it to just help your eyeshadow stay on longer, and you'll still get that benefit of having the brightening power in it but I really like this one the only thing is it's if you don't because I don't wear my eyeshadow clear up to my eyebrows because I would look like a clown to tell you the truth so it's kind of shimmery and I don't really like attracting shimmer up there because then it just kind of attracts hey your eyebrows are this far away from your eyes why are you wearing eyeshadow up there but I like it and it is a really good formula and then I'll talk about MAC Bear Study Paint Pot and it looks like this. It's a really pretty beigey, um, kind of champagne colored. And I use this almost every day. I was in love with it when I first got it. The thing is, is it's not a primer, so it does not stay on without a primer, at least not for me. And then it's like drying out really bad on me. So I'll like get it, and when I put it on, it kind of like clumps on my eyelid, and it looks kind of ridiculous. But I like it just, you know... Just as a base if I just want something quick and it's good just using it as like an eyeshadow every day. But if, I don't know if they all dry out that quickly, but if they do, um, I would say don't waste your money on it because it's not really good. And eyeshadows. The eyeshadow I'm currently using is the Little Shiver Strips in Blue Eyes. It's from, like you can get it at Target or anywhere. It's to basically enhance your eye color just to be more flattering it's got natural colors and then it's got um, like more intense colors down here and then just the blue color in the middle they all three go together to highlight your eyes and it's very pretty and they're shimmery so I actually have two quads that I'm like kind of in love with right now the first one is the Maybelline Sunlit Bronze Palette. This is in my Project 10 Pan video. Um, I love this light color with a huge hole in it. And I've actually been liking using this in my crease more than this one. But I mean, I really love this one from, from Maybelline. And um, yeah, they're just really good eyeshadows. I love these, especially like drugstore eyeshadows are not bad quality, even if they are like six bucks, like who cares, four dollars for this. And if you use a primer, they stay on, so does it really matter if they're from Target or not? And then the other one that I like is the Shimmering Sands from CoverGirl, which is raved about on YouTube. It's got, like, this really pretty kind of, like, baby rose pink color and then a medium tan color and then a darker bronze color. And um, this is just really good because you can wear each of these by themselves. And you can create, like, so many different looks with these. Like, today I'm actually wearing all three of these. But I really like wearing just these two browns or, you know, you can mix them anyway, just with any other quad. But this 
I really like this these colors in it. The eyeliner that I use every day is the Soft Touch Merle Norman. It's in dark black, blackout. It's got a little smudge, smudger on the end. <laughs> it's waterproof. It doesn't smudge throughout the day. It is one of the first eyeliners I've worn that doesn't like run down at the bottom throughout the day, for me anyways. And I really like it because it stays dark all day. And, okay, so my liquid liner, I really like that eyeliner too, but the liquid liner, I love Lime Stiletto from Maybelline. And, okay, I love this one so much, and I got it with Lash Stiletto, and I absolutely hate Lash Stiletto, but she loves Lash Stiletto. I love it. She's like, she, she like convinced me to get it, and I was like, okay, whatever. It comes with an eyeliner, so cool. I hate the, I hate the mascara. I think it's clumpy and weird, but <laughs> she loves it, so it's kind of weird, but... That's a really good eyeliner that I just dropped. And then a mascara that we both like is the Falsies by Maybelline. And okay, again, this is one of those ones when I first got this, I hated it so much. And then she used this one, I think. And then she went yeah. and got hers. And I, she's like, I love it. I don't know how you can hate it. I'm like, uh, I hate it. Because I thought it was like really <laughs> clumpy. But I have changed my mind. I really do like it. Um... It's really, it's like, I don't know if it gives you exactly false looking lashes, but it does make them really volumized, and I think this is worth a shot. Don't think that it's going to give you, like, false looking lashes, though. No, it just makes them, like, fuller. Like, for me, it makes my eyelashes fan out, and, like, I like it. <laughs> now, we're going to talk about skincare. The skincare system I've been using a lot lately is the Boots Expert Anti-Blemish Cleansing Foam. And, um, okay, so it comes with the cleanser, a toner, a, um, serum, and then, um, the anti-blemish night cream, and then it comes with another, um, kind of, like, exfoliator. I didn't bring it, though, because I'm not exfoliating on this trip, but, okay, so you can get that whole set for, like, 30 bucks from Target. Well, I love this so much. It's really good, um, for me, it just... It has a bunch of different cool things, like the lotion from this is like gel lotion, so like like clear gel lotion. So I really, really like it, but that's my skincare. Right now, I started out, I bought this line with Darby, like she said, and it didn't really work, so I'm kind of like in between products right now until I can kind of go out and figure out what I'm going to try next. So the cleanser I'm using is Acne Solutions Foaming <laughs> Cleanser. Um, I like it because after you wash your face with it, it just feels like you're actually, like you actually have clean skin. I don't like it when you use a cleanser and you still feel like you have like, like it's sticky or something like that. It's really good and it's almost exfoliating. Um, I use the Clinique Acne <laughs> Solutions Clearing Moisture Hydrant Purifant, which is just the lotion for it. I like it because it, like, prevents them. I use it under my makeup, actually, throughout the day, and it, I don't know, I feel like it helps. And then for spot treatment, I use my old Skin ID spot treatment with benzoyl peroxide in it. A makeup remover that I really like is the Clinique Take the Day Off um, Makeup Remover. And it's like an oil-based one. You can see how separated it is. And I love this so much. Oil-based um, remover, ma uh, makeup removers are, like, they get everything off. I don't feel like ones without oil get it off. And if you have oily skin, like, okay, I know you might not want to use it, but just wash your face after and it's not that big of a deal. The other day, I bought white eyeliner for Halloween because I was going to do this cool design on my eyelid. Which we'll probably do more videos because, okay, so listen. I have long hair, long brown hair, mm -hmm. and she has like this cool cut hair. I don't even, how do you explain that? I decided I wanted an asymmetrical haircut, which is longer on one side and shorter on the other side. You have like different skin tones and different hair colors and different hair lengths, and then really we have different skin, like how we use our skin. So we think it'd be kind of fun to start doing other videos unless you guys hate us together, but we love us together, so sorry if you don't like us. So 
Um, talk to you later. Bye. Bye.